Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe from Joe Plays Games, and you're joining me back here in Fallout New Vegas. So, in the last part, we actually um, made our way back over to Prim, and we are actually in the process of saving the Prim deputy. But before we get started, I want to talk about uh, something new that is happening with Fallout New Vegas. I actually installed a few mods, nothing too big. Um, but they are, um, they're going to make life a little bit easier out here in the, uh, Mojave Wasteland. So what I have done, actually, is I have installed the Sprint Mod and a few other, um, mods that will help with, you know, potential bug crashes and stability. So it, it the, the game will run smoother, the game will, hang on one second, the game will actually look a little bit better too. I've installed a couple of um, uh, mods that make characters look a little bit better. So actually right now we are in the sheriff's office and unfortunately the sheriff and his wife are now dead. Um, they were killed by the convicts that took over the town but since uh, New Vegas's engine doesn't allow for dead bodies to be re pre-rendered they actually if you notice when I came into the building you heard like a blood splatter sound and that was actually those two bodies actually becoming spawning in and then decapitating like you can see on the uh, on the bed so with that being said welcome back <laughs> to Fallout New Vegas I'm so excited to come back uh, I missed it it's been a while almost a full week um, but anyway, um, I'm actually planning on doing Fallout New Vegas two days a week now. I'm going to be doing it on Saturdays and Thursdays. So this episode, I believe, is being posted on a Saturday. But every subsequent episode of Fallout New Vegas will be on Thursdays and Saturdays. Uh, let's see. Ooh, looks like we have been spotted, and no, a pistol will not help us right now. So let's go back to weapons. Take this kit. Take care of this while we can do it. Cowboy repeaters. The cowboy repeater was the uh, the rifle that I picked up inside the sheriff's office, and I also got myself a new hat. Where is it? It's the sheriff's hat. I'm gonna wear that from now on. Okay. Uh, of course. I forgot <laughs> forgot to equip my gun. I was so excited about my hat, I forgot to equip my gun. So here we go. Sniper rifle. Almost there. He's not gonna get away. There we go. Got him. Alright, so I'm going to clear out the outside area before heading on inside. Just, uh, this is always, to, there we go, we're back, we're on top. So you can actually go up on top of this roller coaster. And just by looking at this character's face, you can tell that he looks different than he would have looked in the last part. I have got enhanced uh, features for faces, and I have enhanced features for just the overall aesthetic. I can't. I don't know if you can tell exactly or not, but it's there. I also tried installing the mod where when you look down you see your legs. Uh, apparently that one didn't work, so I got to figure out why that one isn't happening. But um, it, 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 this is like my first real f uh, foray into doing modding. I um. I'm, I'm more of like a hardware guy, so this uh, software stuff is completely new to me. Um, but hey, it's always good to learn new things. Uh, but anyway, so we're gonna be coming up on a another person somewhere around here. He might actually be up up there, but I'm not sure. 
not showing up on vats, which is weird. There's usually a second person around here somewhere. Don't see him, and I don't see him on the compass. So let's actually sneak on into the Bison Steve Hotel and rescue Deputy Beagle, I believe his name is. And that's how I want most of my uh, engagements to have to turn out. Just a couple shots, take them down quick. Sneak attack criticals are so helpful. And Taking enemies down. Alright, I'm back to hidden. They had no idea where I am. They give up on looking rather quickly. Alright, and actually what just happened was I got a an achievement which gives you experience points. Well, on New Vegas I added in a lot of different little uh, achievements. As you can see up there, low-tech hacking. To, uh, you can pick 25 locks and you'll gain even more experience points. So it, 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 it provides you with more options to grow as a character. So you're not just going around just questing or just just killing things so it, it 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 makes the game feel a little bit more complete but anyway so I uh, I downloaded the the uh, what was the name of the mod um, it was a mod that makes I, I think it's called New Vegas something or it's something that um, makes it so that the game is less liable to crash because this game, if you know anything about the development cycle of Fallout New Vegas, actually was developed in 18 months. So, um, so it's very buggy. Taking some fire. Let's switch to our service rifle. Take them down really quick. The mistake is stepping out in the open. And let's go through his stuff really quick. You can add a farming rifle as well. And I'm actually over encumbered now. Ooh, and a stim pack, nice. Alright, um, what I need to do now is drop a few pounds. Cannot maintain that one. I can maintain this, but it won't be enough, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to get rid of some things. I'll get rid of the switchblade. And. Hmm. Let's get rid of this old baseball cap if we can. So I just uh, cleared some weight by repairing the sheriff's hat that I'm wearing with other hats. I don't know. I don't know exactly if that is. There we go. All right, now we are one under the carry capacity. And let's get rid of this dirty water. It's not going to help me. Okay, we're still technically. Oh, uh, no, whoops. Sorry, that was a misclick. <laughs> Let's continue on clearing out this place. Some bobby pins. Okay. Here. Find you. Yeah, you found me, but it's the last thing you do. And 
luckily I am still under the weight capacity. But I think that might have been everyone in this particular area, so it, it might be okay for me to start moving around a little bit quicker. Maintain my sexy sleepwear with another set of sexy sleepwear. Mm, there is someone else here. I, I think I need to still look for a, an extra set of um, scrap electronics for that robot. What can I get rid of? Something that's taking up too much space. Yeah, the the Vault Tech pedometer, that new item in my apparel, is actually what the item that gets added in with the the sprint mod. So I can sprint around, and I'll show you what that looks like when we're in, in the open. I'll combine these two. And let's get some healing going on too. Uh, my sunset sarsaparilla, worth 50 points. So I'll drink. Two for a hundred points of health regen. And he's down. Alright, let's see what he had. He had the cabinet key, so we can open up the cabinet, the lock cabinet, when we find it. And actually, here it is. Cool. Alright, let's do some more repairs. There's actually a dresser over here. Let's search it. There's one more person left. Where are they? They are probably over th this way. I hear you. Find this person. There he is. He's running. And you'll get to see me sprint. Here we go. I'm sprinting. You're right, this is hopeless, my friend. I'm over encumbered again. Let's combine some of these weapons. Okay, I think that's everything for this level. There's nothing but just some random junk items laying about. Okay. Let's crack this open get the medical supplies inside, that's all I really need. Nothing in there. Nothing of value in there. Nice. There we go. Just what I needed. Scrap electronics. Now the next time we go by that robot, we'll be able to activate him. Alright, we're immediately into caution, but... That doesn't mean they know exactly where we are. He found me. Come on. There we go. He's down. Let's 
slowly clear this place out. There's a couple more over uh -huh. this way. Come let's on. get a... Actually, let's get out a shotgun. We haven't used a shotgun in this game yet, so let's use our caravan shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Ooh. This guy's taking some damage. And he healed. I didn't know he could heal. Oh. Might. Oof. Rough. And my health is low, so I should take a look at my status. Uh, my limbs are fine for now. Let's just do some more Sunset Sarsaparilla. Get that healing going. Oh no, that was a step pack. Whoops. Uh, that's alright. Let's just get a Sunset Sarsaparilla going. Finish up that healing. Some more dynamites. Take everything. Let's switch back to our environment rifle. Alright, so this is where you would come in if you were to come through the main doors. Uh, that's locked hard. I think my. What's my lockpick skill set at? My lockpick skill is 37 with the hat, so but we can access the terminal. Um, let's see, sparing? No, so it's not an ing word. We know that. Decline. That's two correct. Screens one correct. All right, so we know which words it's not. Go through and make sure we get all of these bracketed words, this string of text. Okay. We got our allowance replenished, and we got a lot of a lot of duds removed so far. I think we'll be able to figure this out real quick another one and another one all right so I think we did sparring I can't scroll up so I don't know we know it's not an ing word that's for sure for certain so it might be veggies it might be puzzles it might be precise it might be session those are four words we got four attempts so let's see veggies no puzzles no precise no stories? Nope. Alright, so I've been locked out. <laughs> ah, I got a little too greedy there. So now I actually cannot unlock this terminal. No matter what. So I actually, if I want to get into this room, I need to wait till 75 lockpick, which is not going to be worth it. I'm, I'm not coming back here. So, oh well. Not a big deal. And this is also 75 lockpick. Tales of Junktown Jerky Vendor. There's a there's a skill book. Now there's skill books and there's skill magazine. Skill books will raise your base uh, stats by uh, permanently, whereas a skill magazine does it temporarily. Uh, that we're back underweight so it's always good to have some skill books lying around we can actually lock this we didn't need to go get into that room so there was a there's a key in one of the lockers that would unlock that door without needing to pick the lock but um here we go sneak attack reticle he's down And Deputy Beagle is in this room right here, but what I want to do is I want to, before I set him free, I want to make sure that this place is clear. And as, I, as you can see on the compass, there are a few people still around. So, let's. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like we got two more guys in here. And we'll switch back to the service rifle. There's two guys. And he's he's got a, a big old flame flame weapon. So let's start tossing in some dynamite. like I might have damaged his uh, flamer bad enough that he can't use it now. So let's actually get out the submachine gun and finish him off. He's down, good to go. No, I didn't, de I didn't destroy his incinerator. I guess he might have just dropped it and take his leather armor. To make our leather armor better. Goggles, helmet, or trooper helmet. Let's keep the trooper helmet. I like that better. Cool. But we are still a little overweight, so we're going to need to make some compromises here. Let's drop that. And as much as I'd like to hang on to the incinerator, I can't justify it with that weight, so... Chances are I'm not going to use it anyway. There we go. Alright, we should be good to go in rescuing Deputy Beagle. Just get some healing going on first. All right, and you must be Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. <laughs> Literally what I just said. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered coat. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. And if I, as you can see, if I had 40 speech I'd be able to set him, uh, set and tell him I'll set you free right after you tell me, but since I only have 28 speech, this is what happens when you fail as a skill check. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. Alright, so now can you I'm tell me about I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds, I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. Alright, so let's set him oh, free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. And if we have 25 speech, we can say, hey, if you try and run away, I'll, uh, I'll kill you myself. So help me. Help me fight off the rest of the criminals, but I took them all out, so they're not going to be a problem. So let's just get the free oh, XP. Why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. All right, so we get the free XP. Deputy Beagle's free. And then once we leave this place, he'll actually tell us where we need to go. Come on. I'm still getting used to this this mod, so I don't know if you actually have to hold it or if you just press it. Howdy. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? 
breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? <laughs> His voice changed ever so slightly right there, but uh, that's whatever. Um, we can tell him, ask him, can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Alright, so now we got some more information Hello and again. could go further along in the story. Find its next sheriff. And let's actually get started on doing that quest, but first let's talk to Deputy Beagle about that. What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh no, I'm just the deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. <laughs> and so, what are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. And I'm gonna actually get neither of those people. You will. <laughs> There's a third marvelous. option that he I'll doesn't start tell you up about. Questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. I'll, I'll figure that out later. Alright, so let's actually go through with hey option number three. Talk to this guy right here, Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So with Science 30, you can actually reprogram Prim Slim and he'll actually become the the sher new sheriff. Or you can reprogram him using three fission batteries and four conductors. But we have the science skill, so let's just get that XP. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeehaw! Alright, so now Happy that trails, we got partner. that done, we just completed that quest right then and there. And we leveled up from that. So what we can do is... My gun skill is fine for now. Uh, let's get... Sneak going up in the right direction, as well as speech, and a little bit of lockpick wouldn't hurt. Uh, where should I distribute these last four skill points? Uh, let's throw them into science. It's not going to make it exactly f what we would need to start doing hard, uh, hard locks on computers, but it's a step in the right direction. Alright, so let's act, since we have all of the components we need, let's go fix this robot right over here. Now let's try and fix him, and repair him with parts. And three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Oh, I needed two sensor modules and one scrap electronics. Now I have Okay, I, I guess we're not going to get the robot right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so let's actually get rid of one of those scrap electronics now that we know that we don't need it. We need a sensor module. Come on, Joe. You knew this. Alright, well anyway. And now I'm sprinting. This mod is weird. I don't, I, I don't know. All right then. And so we're gonna head down this way because we know that this is the direction that they all went. And I'm actually gonna 
equip my varmint rifle again. So we're gonna head down and if you look over there you might see two statues looking like they're shaking hands. That's where we're heading off to. That's the Mojave Outpost and that's owned by the NCR. So that's the direction we're heading for now. And there's a rest stop right here. Here we go. We got some enemies out here on the road. Nice well-placed headshot. We can take them out. Boom. And this guy didn't even know what hit him. He knows something's up now. He's down too. All right. Yeah, I'm not used to these uh, better draw distances. Here I go complaining about my computer. No, it, the draw distances are better than what I'm used to. Like on my Xbox, I I would never be able to see that uh, gas station down there. The draw distance is a lot better on my computer than it is on on my old Xbox. I, that is a good, good thing. <laughs> I'm just, it's taking some getting used to. Okay, let's collect things that we can use. And I don't need another environment rifle for now. Here's the other body right here. Okay. I guess sprint is a toggle function, I guess. Ooh, this person's got metal armor on. And I'm doing nothing against that armor, so let's... Let's see, what do I got that deals high damage? This deals 13 damage per shot. I think I have a... Yep, I have one weapon repair kit. That'll be somewhat helpful. Okay, let's see. It's pretty tough here. This cowboy repeat is probably the best gun that I got right now. Let's actually... Since we got a ton of it... Toss in some dynamite. We, we literally have a ton of dynamite right now, and we'll actually use it in bats. So I'm just going to toss it in at her. Let's confirm that, and toss it in. Yeah, easy. <laughs> I should have just done that from the start. Yep, she had a cowboy repeater too. And I would normally take this metal armor, but I'm trying to keep a, a lower profile. I want to be able to sneak around. So I'm not going to take that. We'll pair up this cowboy repeater with the new one. And I think there may be one more person over here. Yep, I see him on the compass. sees me. By the way, his gun sounds he might have a 10 millimeter pistol. Gonna get some healing going on. And swap out for the 9 millimeter submachine gun. And there we go. He's down. Some more leather armor. I'm actually going to take all of this stuff. Okay, and repair up this leather armor. And that's everything that I need. And we'll keep the submachine gun opened up because I think... Yeah, there's going to be more guys in here. Hey! 
drop them real quick. And there is a another skill book over here. Guns and bullets. Crack this open. And I actually smushed that bug right there. Smushed him with the door. Anything else? There's a first aid box here, but it's empty. Let's see. These are all locked behind that door, but there's a Sunset Star bottle cap. I got a, enough 9mm bullets that I can bear to be a little liberal with the application. Sunset Star bottle cap. And some cards. Another cowboy repeater. I'm getting pretty lucky with some of these drops. I don't normally see this many drops of cowboy repeaters this early. Okay. And there's some Hydra up here. Cool. Alright, this is all good and taken care of. And let's head on down the road. I definitely think the game is better off with this sprint function. It just it makes it it makes sense to have it and this came out at a time before sprinting was a thing in Bethesda games, or at least in the this style of Bethesda game. I don't know what they did with the other games that they made, but with Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, there was no sprinting. In Oblivion, there was no sprinting. Morrowind, I know there was no sprinting. They didn't put in a sprint function until Skyrim, if I am correct. And, um... And it carried over into Fallout 4. So if they were to make another Elder Scrolls game or another Fallout game, there definitely will be another sprint function. It just it fits so well in with the game, and it makes traveling faster, easier, and it uh, overall it just makes sense to have it. Because Bethesda games are just getting bigger and bigger, and it takes longer to traverse the maps. So. We are on our way up. We're making pretty good time. We're almost there. I don't know how how I feel about this um, heavy breathing going on, though. I might turn that part of the uh, mod off. Um... But here we are, we're at the Mojave Outpost, and we can collect some quests here. There is two quests from this spot, and a third one is given to you by another character that you can you can turn in here. So we're going to be here for a little bit, but first let's get Hello. some of those quests started. First, by talking to Ranger Ghost up here. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit, and your eyes are good. Uh, it depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. And I will do that. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? All right. Sounds good. I'll be going then. Mind yourself on the plank going down. So keep your eyes on the prize quest has been added to our quest log. And there's one more quest we can pick up inside this building right here. Let's just turn off 
Alright. Radio when I find it. There it is up here. Let's turn you off. And here we go, Ranger Looks Jackson. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell. If I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Any way that I can help, Jackson? Hell. No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Alright, sounds like a deal. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay it with. Alright, so now we have two quests. Can Hello? I find it in your heart? But actually, I'm gonna leave this one off here. We're gonna continue on with getting those two quests complete and then head to and head down to Nipton. Uh, one of those quests will actually take us through Nipton, so we'll be able to get that taken care of right away. And then we'll be able to go ahead and find out where to go next. Because all we know is that we have to go to Novak through Nipton. But uh, anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. My name is Joe from Joe Plays Games, and you have been watching Fallout New Vegas. Thank you very much, and goodbye.